Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer and welcome to Star Citizen. Another quick look. We have a look at the Argo Raft today. So let's go check this thing out. I've not looked yet. This is the first kind of impressions as always. So we'll have a play around, see what it's like. Before we get there though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Drop this video a like, tap that notification bell, and let me know what you think below. Right, I think first impressions are this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I was not expecting it to be this big. Apparently, each of these carry around about, I think they said about 30 SCU, so the whole thing carries maybe, what, three containers? It lets you maximize yeah, profit while minimizing like hassle. Right. However, and the cost for this thing anywhere, is, this if you want to get on war the game, bond, yet, it's 105 of your great British pounds. If you want to get it standalone, it's 120 of your great British pounds, which means it's about $120 and $140 respectfully. Um, and you can also get some paint packs as well like for four pound each or 12 for the three to get right is let's go and check it out we before we start though well, don't well, forget to, to hit that subscribe button tap the notification go bell yeah, smash that like button and comment below to let me know what you think right you know what it, it looks kind of nice i do like the look of it i like the little landing legs what's it like inside though i can't imagine it being too big it's gonna be pretty small Ooh, top deck. I used to love that chocolate. <laughs> oh, this lifts slow. Jesus. Oh, okay. So we have two decks. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's going on here then. Oh my god, that lift is slow. Jesus. Hopefully you're not in a hurry. So we have engineer in here. You have some component access, which it doesn't like you can get in them ones. Let's you press them buttons. No, you have avionics there. Oh, that one works. What are you opening up? That little thing. And then we have over here, just hot surface. A super low res screen. That button worked on there, but none of these buttons do. Okay. Um, let's see what's through here then. So we have the cooler, which is, I guess, is going to open by clicking that. Yeah. We have a cooler on that side. We have a cooler on that side. What are you guys? Shield generator and power plant. Cool. And you are the same on that side. We have, I don't know. And the jump drive is located here. I guess that's just going to look the same. It kind of opens up a little bit different. Yeah, cool. So what do we have here and why are we going in? Oh, this is how you get down. Okay. And this is the support station. What does this thing do? At the moment, nothing. Okay, thanks for just kicking me out. But this doesn't do anything anyway. Uh, nice little room though, nice little room. I guess that's where you would offload the cargo in the future. So, should we go down the deck? I think we should. Hit the ladder down. Oh, yeah, I am uh, kind of naked. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I fell through the earth and died, which was just wonderful. I was so happy. All right, well, these showers. So we've got four showers because you just never know. It's, you know, it's dirty work out there. Ooh, so this is like, it must be the captain's shower. Oh, there's something open there. Ew. Oh, okay. Give me cold water. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like a shower room. So these must just be... Are they? Showers? Oh, there could be emergency escape pods, I guess. Anyway, moving on into here, we have like a kitchen sort of thing with a nice little look over there. We have some books up there, always forward. Clan Brutality, the Lomrox Guide, all very low res again. Another low res screen up there. 
We have some trays there, some kitchen facilities to make some tea and coffee. Some ketchup and mustard. We've got vacuum seal, so if you want to seal uh, the vacuum cleaner after you've used it, you just put it in there. Got some bunk beds. We've got two beds there. Cool. And I guess this is the way to the bridge. We have more. So we have the lift up. We have the airlock. We haven't looked through the airlock yet. So let's have a little look. Now, do you have to close this door before opening it? I think you might. Yes, you do. Okay, cool. Cool. That works fine. Right, we'll close you and open you. Good. We've got how an airlock works. Right, moving on to the bridge. You've got two seats in here. You've got some components. You've got any, like, armor storage lockers or guns? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, we'll just check through to the lift area. Or was that just open straight? I just open straight out. Okie dokie. So, pilot seat there and co pilot seat there. So, let's jump into the pilot seat and have a little look. Ooh, like that little hood display. That was quite nice. Like the way it came towards you. Um, let's power this thing up. So we have communications there. We have a big radar. <laughs> My legs are there. On here, disabled G safe limits, cruise control, proximity, couple flights, engine on or off, power on or off, open exterior. Is there an exterior to open? That open up. Oh. Camera. Big old chip, isn't it? I don't know why that opened up, but I think it opened up something. Didn't look at the top, so we have some big guns at the top. And we have that little control seat. Right, okay, so let's jump back in. What else do we have in here? So we'll close the exterior, I guess. Yeah. Nothing much else going on, so I think we will... Well, it's weapons off, weapons on, I guess. Nope, nothing else to press. All right, let's get out of here then. That must be the German one. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go outside because uh, I'm going to freeze. <laughs> Big old spaceship, this one, like, isn't it? Actually, am I going to be able to fit through this door? I like the way the landing gear works. That's pretty cool. Flying from that position was probably the wrong way to fly. As you would guess, it does handle pretty badly. <laughs> I think the landing gear, though. I think that's pretty cool. So, let's uh, put them engines forward and let's see how fast this thing goes. Yeah, as you can imagine, not particularly quick. <laughs> I like it. I think it looks... I, I like the look of this thing. I think it looks rather cool. I think it'd have a lot more storage space, so that elevator as well needs to sped up hugely. Like, that needs sped up so quick. Just getting it out was painful. Oh. No, no, no. Don't, don't crash. <laughs> don't crash. Team on the spin there. Yeah, I, 
like I think it looks rather nice. I just don't think it's got much use at the moment. I mean, unfortunately, that seems to be a little bit of the problem with uh, Star Citizen at the moment. Nothing seems to have much use. But yeah, I like. I think it looks rather nice. You guys agree? Or disagree, right? Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks nice? I think the space could be utilized way better. Way, way, way better. There's a lot of wasted space there. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is the Argo Raft for you. Um, yeah. So I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.